Hello and uh, welcome back to the DNS class. We are discussing about uh, forward lookup query, reverse lookup query, name resolution, all those things. And now it is time to talk about uh, the next topic that's called as DNS records. So you might be wondering uh, what is DNS records? DNS records is nothing but uh, when we have um, in our mind that we have primary zone database file as well as a secondary zone database file you, we might have what does this database file contain so the information what this particular zone database file contains is nothing but DNS records so what records does it contain so we need to get the information about that as well so DNS records are nothing but information that primary or we can just say um, zone database file contents so DNS records are nothing but the information that zone database file contents okay so we have SOA so that is um, start of authority so this particular uh, line on the zone database file will contain the primary name server what it has to resolve suppose uh, if you have your primary zone database information what it has to resolve for the IP you will have that information there and uh, the email administrator for this particular domain name server whom should you contact and the uh, domain serial number so you will have a serial number which is being specified so you will have that information so under start of authority so you will have all these three information and we have something called as a record or it is called as quad quad a record so since it has four a's we call it as quad a record so <clears throat> this will have the information of uh, this line will have the information above about uh, mapping an IP address to an name and uh, that information is updated as a A or quad A record then we have C name that is uh, canonical name so it's nothing but an alias or uh, it, it is also called as alias record which points to the quad A record so this particular C name will point to the quad A record so which is being created so this quad A record will have the mapping information of IP to name name to IP so this would have this would be an that is why it is since it is pointing to the A or quad A record that's what is called as alias record then we will have one more if whenever wherever you see MX it is nothing but mail record so the mail record will start from the small mm, priority tired first so what do you mean by small priority tired first it is suppose if you just uh, send an exam send an email to unixservices.com if it is not able to resolve it so whichever the uh, one which is there available for you for the nearest to resolve so it will just send the mail to that particular place so that's the small priority so whichever the nearest one it will just try to dump the mail there then we have PTR records so under the PTR records you will have the maps info maps and IP address to a name information must have an existing reverse lookup so you'll have reverse lookup information which is there updated under the PTR records you'll have both these information which is there updated why do we use reverse lookup uh, information is because whenever usually when we use these uh, troubleshooting steps like tracert so tracert is nothing but finding out the number of jumps which is there from our computer to the destination computer so you will have a reverse look 
look up required at that point of time so that's why those information is updated under PTR records then we have IN as internet record so suppose if you are providing any information which is there uh, externally out of your network so that information is updated as IN as internet record so these are some of the common records which is there uh, used on the DNS record information so thank you for viewing